person that seems never to mind the heat is Mr. Paul Sikala. It's back, buddy. You can't stand the heat. Get out of the Sonoran Desert, buddy. We're in the Sonoran Desert. All right, it's hot outside. The NBA playoffs, they continue to heat up as former Arizona basketball standout DeAndre Ayton and the Phoenix Suns are still licking their wounds after dropping two games in a row to the Dallas Mavericks on the road. The Suns hope to rebound on Tuesday night with a 7 p.m. tip-off in Maricopa County. And as we speak, it is two games to two in the playoff series for them. Meanwhile, Suns coach Monty Williams has just been named the 2021-22 NBA Coach of the Year. The former Suns, uh, Cotton Fitzsimmons and Mike D'Antoni, uh, they also got their awards, which include the Red Auerbach Trophy. They're the only other Suns to win it. Williams guided the Suns to an NBA leading 64 victories in the regular season. Will he add an NBA title to that resume? We'll see. I'm just grateful that you guys allow me and the staff to coach you guys the way we do. And the connection we have, having my family be a part of this. Uh, this is so stinking cool. <laughs> you know, I love you guys. I appreciate it. But this is us. Certainly is. Family surprised him with the award. Don't look now, but your Tucson Sugar Skulls professional indoor football team will be gunning for its third victory in a row as the footballers from the old Pueblo battle it out in the arena in Flagstaff this weekend. The Sugar Skulls will take on the Northern Arizona Wranglers on Saturday. The Sugar Skulls are coming off a win over the previously unbeaten Arizona Rattlers over the weekend. It's Tucson's first victory ever against their interstate nemesis. And here's more news from the IFL world. The league is announcing the national championship game will be moved for the next three years to the Las Vegas area. It'll all go down at the Dollar Loan Center in the nearly 6,000-seat arena located in Henderson, Nevada. It was formerly known as the United Bowl, but has been rebranded as the Dollar Loan Center IFL National Championship. Of course, uh, the owners and ownership group for the uh, Tucson franchise well they have said that the experience will only be enhanced with the las vegas strip being right around the corner nearby all right as the word big bird and congrats is in order once again to sunnyside state championship wrestler audrey jimenez she was named the outstanding wrestler of the under 20 competition at the u.s women's world team nationals jimenez claimed both the u17 and the U-20 titles in the 50 kilograms category, that is around 110 pounds. Jimenez also qualified for Team USA to compete at the World Championships in Sofia, Bulgaria this August. And finally, props go out to all of the fourth and sixth graders in Rivera Elementary, many of which are young athletes and diehard U of A fans. I had the chance to talk to dozens of students today at Career Day about what it's like to be a sports reporter and also a news reporter. A big shout out to the classes of Ms. Duarte, Mrs. Urquides, Ms. Pashar, Mr. Salazar, and Ms. Sarate, just to name a few. And don't forget about Mrs. Alexander. Also, Rivera counselor, Mrs. Maria Costin, for setting it all up. No doubt, one of the kids will be a future journalist. And hey, perhaps, maybe take my job right here. That's it for now of Paul C. Kala. We'll be right back.